Hi, how you doing? This is Doreen Pratt 50. Today is February 13th. And I'm back to talk again about my struggles with my diabetes type 2. Now, the last time I was here, I was talking about, well, in a couple of my videos, I, I was talking about some medications like Bieta, Zetia, and Vitosin that the doctor had given me. So, you know, um, I just wanted to go over that in a sense. I just wanted to let you know when I was talking about taking Bieta, uh, Bieta is used with other diabetic meds and, and um, to control high blood sugar. Uh, I, the Bieta, okay, let me just finish this. Zetia is used, I was given that for my high cholesterol, and is used uh, along with another low fat. Another low cholesterol medication that I'm also on, Crestor, um, and a low fat diet and exercise to lower the cholesterol in the blood. In the blood, Vitosin is used alone or with other meds in a proper diet and exercise to control blood sugar in people that have type 2 diabetes. Now, I like the Vitosin better if I'm saying it right, which I hope I am. I like that better than the Bieta because I can take it any time. With the Bieta, I had to take an hour before I ate, and with me not being a um, consistent eater, you know, someone who eats at the same time every day, I eat when I'm get, when I get hungry. I know all that needs to change because I'm a diabetic, but basically I still eat when I'm hungry. So the Vitosin is great for me because I can take it anytime. And it still has that um, component, I believe, as the Bieta that helps suppress my appetite. So that's cool. Really cool for me. I woke up this morning, and I'm very happy to say that my blood sugar on a fasting was 103. That was great for me. I was surprised because my blood sugars have been running like um, 134, 138, 139. Uh, they were in they were in the the high 130s. It didn't reach 140, but you know 103 was great. It was really great. And I took my blood blood sugar later on, right before I ate lunch, and it was 128. So hey, that was good. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing right but I am doing something right well I did something right yesterday so anyway um yeah for breakfast this morning after I had that 103 I you know I, I couldn't wait to have a decent breakfast so I think my breakfast was decent because I had a banana English muffin and I had a cup of coffee I I made my coffee this morning. I didn't go to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm drinking, um, oh my God, Folgers. Yeah, and uh, of course it's not Dunkin' Donuts, but you know what? I'm going to have to get used to it. But anyway, um, I had sugar in my uh, coffee because I didn't have any Splenda. So I definitely need to get some more Splenda in the house. You know, um, I am still taking my Cymbalto for the depression and neuropathy pain that I have. Um, okay, so what else? I, I did want to say something about um, on the third video that I did, I don't think I have my glasses on. And I noticed, wow, that my eyes were like, ooh, I mean, I, I thought, wow, I really look, look bad. I, you know, my eyes were just really bad. So, you know, I went to see an ophthalmologist last week, or was the week before last? I can't remember. But anyway, um, my pressure in my in my eyes were better than they were last year when I saw her. They were, she didn't see any sign of any sarcoidosis, which is another autoimmune disease. And um, she saw allergies that I had, bad allergies in my eyes. And um, so she gave me something for that and for the puffiness and hopefully um, it'll work. I also went and brought something yesterday from over the counter too, from Clinique, a puff, something for the puffiness. So, you know, I'm going to see how those things work. But um, I'm just happy about my blood sugar this morning and uh, can't wait to see what it's going to be like tomorrow morning. I still need to start walking 
and you know hopefully I will do that soon but I just wanted to give you guys an update on you know the diabetes even though I had a 103 sugar this morning I'm very grateful and thankful for that there's still plenty of work that I need to do um, I think that what I'm going to do now is just touch base and give an update once a week if I can do it more than once a week you know I will but you know because of you know the rheumatoid arthritis sometimes I just I'm just not able to don't feel and sometimes it's not so sometimes it's not so much physical sometimes it's like emotional I just sometimes I just don't feel like getting up getting up because I'm just so overwhelmed or wiped out but today was a decent day you know um, I'm in the bed I don't know if you all can see that but I am in the bed because rheumatorily I'm not feeling at my best but um as always I pray that our Creator continues to bless and beautify us all. Thank you for your support, and um, you'll see me next week with another update on my struggles with my diabetes type 2. Okay? Bye-bye.